This week, Adobe just announced a tool that I never expected and has already changed my motion graphics workflow overnight. Today, I'm gonna to explain what this new tool is, explain why it's such a big deal to the future of motion graphics and how to use it. My name is DJ from Eternal Visuals. Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. For those who don't know, this week Adobe held their annual Max conference where they announced the future of what's coming in their software and also hold community sessions to help creatives connect and grow together. During the first session of the conference, they went through Photoshop, Lightroom, and Premiere, demonstrating AI features that have been included in the software for months now, and also shared feedback from the community on how these tools have been used. But then when they opened up Adobe Illustrator, they announced something that I did not see coming. Out of nowhere, they announced this generative AI tool in Illustrator called Text to Vectors. This tool gives you the ability to type in a prompt and it'll create a vector-based design for you from what feels like out of thin air. In addition to creating these text-based vectors, you can also take vector designs you've already made or images that you have and use what's called Style Picker. This feature mimics the art style of your image or vector. Now, why is this a huge deal? And here are some reasons why. Number one, workflow. This is a motion graphics-based channel, but some of you are probably wondering what Illustrator has to do with After Effects. When it comes to designing a fully animated story, most often than not, the elements for the animation are designed in Illustrator and then brought into After Effects to be animated. This new feature will help motion designers buy back time to be able to focus more on how to tell the story rather than spending all their time building the elements needed for the animation. Number two is branding. On top of creating an animated story, you're trying to incorporate visual elements from an already existing color palette, website, or lookbook, which just means a design guide or design manual a company creates to create visual unity across multiple departments. But sometimes all they have is a single image or shape from their logo. Rather than taking time to create objects, icons, and backgrounds from scratch, you now can just type in the elements you need into the prompt and then use the style picker with the color palette and assets you have from the client to create something that fits the brief. Especially during pre-production where ideas are still flowing, it's a great way to move the ball forward without having to spend hours designing something you might not end up using anyway. Number three, collaboration. I believe if motion designers adapt to this new tool, it will change the way that they interact with their clients. The pressure to be able to create different variations of a specific scene is so much less and will create more space during the concept phase to be able to dream and envision new ways of being able to bring a scene to life. So how do you use this tool? At Adobe Max conference, they announced that this new feature would be available the day after updating your latest version of Adobe Illustrator. But I tried getting access to this for two days with no luck. Today, I finally got a notification from Adobe about this new feature in the Creative Cloud and clicked on the notification which opened up a new version of Illustrator where the text to vector beta was available. I now have two versions of Illustrator installed, but make sure the version you're using is 28.0. Once you have Illustrator open, you can grab the shape tool and create a shape in the size that you want. Then with your shape selected, you should see in your properties panel a window called text to vector beta. If you don't see this, you can access it through selecting window, text to vector beta. There is a drop down menu that gives you a couple choices. You can choose subject, scene, icon, or pattern. Once you've chosen the type of vector that you wanted to create, you can type in what you're looking for. You can also choose the level of detail you want in the vector. It'll generate three generations and you can always hit generate again and it will keep your other options saved for you in the library. Now for the fun part, bring in an image or vector object, then with your shape selected, click the style picker eyedropper and select your vector shape or image, then hit generate. This will give you variations of your subject that match your style reference. I have to be honest, it's definitely not perfect and I have not learned the correct keywords to get the best results for what I'm looking for. Moving forward, I'll definitely be using this tool to create rough concepts to use for an animation later. This is an amazing step forward in tech and I can see this being the future of motion design. I hope you learned something today and can't wait to see you in the next one.